Hello from RoomOptimizer.com. In this video, I'll show you how to upgrade a staircase and give it a wow factor while simultaneously adding to the value of a property. The staircase can upgrade a house from normal to special, and that is what you want when you're trying to sell or rent out a property. I did this myself, and I'm not a carpenter, so really most people will be able to carry this out. Here are some examples of other people's staircases that they've carried out using the same technique. This is the before picture with the carpet and afterwards with the new trades that I've done. Developers will spend thousands on carpentry to renovate staircases and we can do this for £500. We'll go through the order of work so you know what's going to be coming. First we'll start off with gathering your materials. Then you'll clear the site, remove the carpet and the carpet grippers. You'll test with one trade only. This is very important otherwise you'll waste a lot of money if you buy all the trades the incorrect size. Then order the rest of the treads, prepare the site. Prepare the treads by varnishing the tops and sides only, not the underside. Then glue down alternating treads so you can still use them. And add non-slip stickers to make them safe. And then finally add your builder's grout at the end to give it a good look. Step one is gathering your materials. Your tools are things like your sealant gun, claw hammer, tape measure, paintbrush, putty knife and planer, and pliers and a chisel. And then your materials are your varnish, your decorator's cork, your white eggshell paint, wood glue, wood filler, and then some sandpaper to use to make the adhesion of the glue work as well as possible. Step two is to clear the site. Wear gloves so that you don't scratch your hands and lift and remove the carpet. Remove the carpet grippers with a hammer and chisel and remove any leftover nails and screws with the hammer or screwdriver. Remove the staples of the pliers so that you're finally left with a clean, smooth surface. Step three is to test with one trade first. Check the thickness of the trade is appropriate for your stairs. Check the overhaving of the trade over the riser is enough. And check the width and length of the trade is correct. Step four is to order all the trades and prepare the site. Order all the pre-cut trades to size so you don't have to cut them. Fill in the any holes or gaps in the risers and stringers with wood filler. Sand the risers and stringers smooth. Paint the risers and stringers with primer. And then paint the risers and stringers with white eggshell paint. Do not varnish or paint the existing treads. The tread surface needs to be rough for the new treads to adhere to them properly with the wood glue. Step 5 is to prepare the treads. Use the planer to adjust each new tread to its exact size and temporarily place it in position and number the underside of each tread. Then remove the treads from the position and varnish the tops and sides. Do not varnish the undersides of the treads because these need to have a rough surface to adhere to the old tread. Step 6 is to glue down the alternating treads and allow them to dry for 24 hours. In this way you can still use a staircase. Then glue down the other treads. Step 7 is to add the transparent non-slip stickers so that the stairs are safe to use. And, and step 8 is to add the decorator's cork so that you have a professional looking finish. Please let me know your comments. I love hearing from you and learning from you. And if you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to.